What's up, my friend? Welcome to the Finding Direction podcast. My name is Stu Massengill, and I'm here every single week to bring you a passionate guest or message dedicated to helping you find your purpose so that you can live a life full of passion, fulfillment, and happiness. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for hanging out with me, and let's dive in. What's up, my friend? Congratulations on joining us on the number one podcast in the world, Finding Direction. At least that is in my opinion that it is the number one podcast. I want to say welcome back if you are joining us this week and you are a regular or if this is your first time joining us on the podcast, welcome to Finding Direction. I am so grateful to be able to have this conversation with you as we dive in today to our topic, which is 10 powerful questions to ask yourself as we wrap up 2022 and we enter 2023. Now, before we get to the juiciness of today's episode, I want you to take a moment right now and ask yourself, what is one thing that you could be grateful for in your life right now? What's one thing that you could be deeply, deeply grateful for in your life? It could be your family. It could be your health. It could be a relationship that's in your life. It could be something that you recently accomplished. It could be that you just get to breathe and you have fresh air in your lungs. But ask yourself, what is one thing that you can be truly grateful for in your life right now? Feel it in your body. And let's take that feeling with us throughout the rest of this episode and throughout the rest of today. All right, if you have not already, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can hang out with us every single week as we have powerful conversations on this podcast to help you find your direction and make sure that you are maximized living in it every single day. And if you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review. I'd love to hear from you what you like, what you want more of, and ultimately how I can make this a better experience for you every single week. Truly from the bottom of my heart, those reviews are a beautiful thing that I get to read. I enjoy it so much, and truly, I do take things from that and bring it to the show so that I can deliver for you in a greater way. So if you want more of something, if you want to let us know big takeaway you have, share with us in a review, and I would be extremely grateful to interact with you there. You can go to iTunes and leave a review there, right? Leave an honest review. Now, without that, we are going to dive into this week's episode, which is 10 powerful questions to ask yourself as we wrap up 2022 and we enter 2023. Now, as we go into this episode, one thing you want to understand, and you know, if you're regular on the show, you hear me say this all the time, but the power of questions in our life are one of the greatest forces to creating a life that we love, creating a life full of fulfillment, happiness, passion, all of those things. A lot of it comes down to, are we asking ourselves quality questions? Right? If you ask yourself poor questions, you're going to get poor results. Right? If you're going to ask yourself questions that don't give you some juice, you're going to have a life that's not very juicy. You're going to have a life that's pretty boring. So you want to make sure you're asking yourself good questions. And today, I have 10 outstanding questions for you to ask yourself. And what I would encourage you to do is go through this episode twice today. Once, just listen through it. Maybe listen to it while you're driving in your car, you're going on a run, and then come back to the episode after you listen to it once through and get a journal out and really spend some time answering these questions. Maybe give yourself 30 minutes minimum. I would say give yourself an hour and journal on each of these questions because it's going to be able to create some really incredible things for you as you wrap up this year and then also make it so that as we go into next year, 2023, it is even more outstanding. All right, so let's get to the first question and I'll share with you as well that the last question I'm gonna ask you is really gonna be the one that is gonna move the needle most for you in your life. So make sure you stick around to the 10th question. That's gonna be the big needle mover for you. But the first question is a simple question, but the first question is, have you started planning for 2023? Have you started planning for 2023? Real simple question and if not, when will you start, right? There's something that's so interesting that I see happen so many times is we get to December 31st or maybe a day or two before we go, okay, let me plan my next year. And the truth 
is if you give yourself an hour to plan a year, it may not become the most outstanding year, right? Think about if you um, were going to get married and you said to your partner, you know what, let's talk about this one time for one hour and then let's never talk about this again. And and I'm sure we're going to have a great marriage. I think we all know the end of that story would not be the most amazing one because you have to actually spend some time planning your life out, whether that's your marriage, whether that's your future, whether that's your career, your business, your finances. So you want to start to ask yourself, as of right now, if you listen to the podcast the day that it came out, we have two weeks, roughly 16 days of this year left. So you want to ask yourself over the next 16 days, what are a few times you can carve out 30 minutes, an hour, over maybe four or five days, and really allow yourself to look at 2023 and what you want in your life. All right, so have you started planning for 2023? And if not, when will you start? One thing I'll share with you is if you hang out with us over the next two weeks, the last two solo episodes we'll have this year, we're really gonna be focusing on preparing you for 2023, making sure you get yourself set up so you can create an outstanding year as we go into next year. All right, so that's question one, real simple. Question two, and this is where we get into a little bit more of reflection with 2022, is what went great in 2022? What went great in your life in 2022? What were some of the things that when you look back over your life over the last 12 months, you go, man, that was an outstanding moment that I had in my life, right? Was it a moment that maybe you were achieving and going for something in your career and you you did it and it, it was great. Maybe it was some of the relationships you built in your life this year, some of the new friends you made. Maybe it was a romantic lover that you started dating, Right, but what's something that went great in 2022? And one thing you can do to make this even more powerful is go through your photos on your cell phone. And what you can do is go scroll through January to December of 2022 and start to scroll through that that photos and look at all the different things that you went through in your life. It is such a beautiful gift you can give yourself to spend 10 minutes And just go through your photos on your phone and say, man, I can't believe I did that in January. I can't believe in February I went and I traveled to that place. Or in April last year, I did this thing, right? Time flies and oftentimes we forget about the things that we go through in our life. So give yourself the gift to to scroll through your actual photos in your phone book or your photos on your phone, wherever you keep them, on your desktop, wherever you have them. But scroll through those photos and ask yourself, what were some things that went great in 2022? Right? You want to make sure that as we wrap up this year, you really anchor some of the things that were outstanding for your life last year. All right. So the third question you want to ask yourself is quite the opposite of the second question, and it's what did not go great in 2022? What are some of the things that didn't really go super well? What are the, some of the things that didn't pan out the way that you thought that they would happen? Right? Was it that maybe this last year you felt like, what really didn't go great is you didn't really do something that you were actually excited about, right? Was it that over the last 12 months, you felt what didn't go great is you never really allowed yourself to get vulnerable and get into a relationship that maybe you were really craving, right? Was it that maybe you have a business and the business didn't get exactly to where you wanted it to be, right? So what are some of the things that did not go great in 2022. Again, maybe you could scroll through your phone book and look at all the different things that happened over the last 12 months and just ask yourself, what are a few of the things that did not go great? Now, as you get clear on what did not go great, the fourth question is really where we want to squeeze all of the juice out of the third question, right? The third question being, what did not go great in 2022? The fourth question is, what did I learn from this? What did I learn from this thing? And the second part of that question would be, and how can I use it to improve 2023, right? So let's take an example. Let's say that in 2022, what did not go great is you did not achieve the success that you wanted to achieve in your career, let's say. So what you want to start to ask yourself is what's the lesson? What what could you learn from that? that you could use as you go into 2023. And maybe if you look back at it, maybe you go, you know what? I, I really wasn't 100% committed right, to, to, the, to the outcome that I really wanted to achieve in my career or my business. So maybe the lesson you bring to 2023 
is if I really want to achieve the success that I want, I have to begin to get 100% committed. Maybe that's the lesson that you take. But grab two, three lessons. And as you do that and you find those lessons, you really want to understand that in life, when we go through things that are not good, right? I've been through many experiences in my life that people could say were not good, right? Whether it was health scares, whether it was businesses falling apart. But in life, you have to understand that you never lose. You either win or you learn. So if you went through something that did not go great in 2022, it's not that you lost. It's not that you went backwards. It's not that something you know crazy bad happened in your life. It's that something happened. And if you're willing to spend the time to really look at it, there's a lesson in there that could improve the quality of your life as you go into this next year, right? This one, you may have to really do some digging and say, this thing was not good. It, didn't, it was not great. What, but what would the lesson be? That crazy thing you went through, that thing that was not good, that thing that was not fun, that thing that, to just be honest, sucked. What's a lesson that you could grab from that? What's a lesson you could grab from that and bring that lesson into 2023 so you make 2023 even more powerful? All right, that's question four. Now, question five is what were three magic moments that you had in 2022? And when I say magic moments, I mean like, What were some of those moments that when you look back at your year, and maybe you find these through scrolling through your phone book again, but what were some of those moments as you went through 2022 that were just like unbelievable? Like they they filled your heart up. They made you excited. They made you feel loved. Like what were some of those moments that you look back and you will just cherish for the rest of your life? What were some of those magic moments? I'll share with you one of my magic moments. In 2022, just a couple months ago, actually, Uh, My dad turned 70 years old, and when he turned 70, we went with all of our family, uh, and we got together, and we went to an Elton John concert with his twin sister, who also turned 70, obviously they're twins, and we just celebrated their birthday. That night, we celebrated it for the weekend. I flew in. There was other family that drove in, and it was such a beautiful moment to just appreciate these two beautiful humans, my dad and his twin sister, my aunt who had enriched the quality of everybody's life that was there in such a tremendous way. They'd added so much laughter to our life, so much happiness, so much joy. Um, Obviously, we wouldn't be having this conversation if it wasn't for my dad. So it was such a magical moment just in that aspect of, of, of celebrating his life and being together with family and just taking in the, the two people, my dad and his, his twin sister, and embracing and being grateful for every ounce of who they are in in all of our lives. And so for me, that was a magic moment. So ask yourself, what was a magic moment? Was it maybe a birthday that you had? Was it a birthday of someone else? Was a magic moment uh, maybe you got married this year, right? Was a magic moment that maybe you found the love of your life? Was a magic moment that maybe you, you landed this career, this job that just excites the hell out of you? Was it that you grew your business to a certain point? What was a magic moment? And I would encourage you to find three of those moments and really give yourself the gift of just owning that magic moment and letting it flow through your body, right? I mean, like when you think of that moment, don't just think of it cognitively, like think of it, put yourself back in that moment, experience it. And when you do that and you allow that experience to flood your body again with all of those positive emotions, it is gonna create some pretty incredible things as you begin to wrap up this year. All right, so what are some of those magic moments? And the next question is, what is something that I can celebrate that I accomplished in 2022? Right, what's something that you could celebrate that you accomplished? Now, this one may be um, more of a professional goal. It may be something you achieved and accomplished in your personal life as well. Right, you could go this year, something that I accomplished was I finally lost that weight that I've been trying to get off and I need to applaud myself for it, right? It's interesting. They've done all these, I don't actually know if they're studies, but what happens when you are a child, if you think about when you started walking, right, is you take a little step and somebody applauds you and you want to get back up, you want to do it again. So as we go through our life and we go through 2022 into 2023, you want to celebrate those moments in your life. Right? You want to celebrate the moments that you had where you accomplished something, whether it was big, whether it was small, whether it was huge, whether it was little, 
But what is something that you accomplished in 2022 that you begin you can begin to celebrate? Right? For me, again, I'll share another thing um, that, that I'm celebrating as I accomplished in this year. And one of the things for me in 2022 was I really started to push my speaking business as an independent speaker, as someone who's going out and holding my own speaking engagements and going to different companies, going to different schools, organizations, and speaking and adding value from the content and things that I like to speak on in my life, right? Whether that's helping people find their purpose in their life, get clear on that, whether that's helping people take more action in their life or create a better quality of life. That's something that I started to really put a foot forward with this year and I had some great success in it. So for me, that's something that I'm celebrating this year, patting myself on the back and saying, let's freaking go. I did this thing in 2022 and now I'm even more excited to take it to that next level as we go into 2023. All right, so what is something that you can celebrate that you accomplished this year? And again, the second time you go through this episode, go through your notebook and journal down what are two, three things that you could celebrate that you accomplished in 2022? That's question six. Now, question seven of the 10 powerful questions you can ask yourself as we wrap up 2022 and go into 2023. The seventh question is, what was something that truly filled you up in 2022? And then the second part of that question is, again, how can I incorporate more of that into 2023? Now, one of the big things we talk about on this podcast all the time is how do you live a successful life, but not only a successful life, but more importantly, a fulfilling and enriching life, a full circle, just enriched life. How do you do that? And what it comes down to is creating more fulfillment in our life. And when we look at fulfillment, the way we create more fulfillment is by first understanding, well, what fulfills us in the first place, right? If you don't know what fulfills you, then how can you be more fulfilled? Right? It's really interesting that we go, you know, so many people, they go, man, I, I want to be more fulfilled in my life. Well, have you asked yourself what fulfills you? Maybe that's another good question we could add to this list, right? But one of the ways you can start to discover how to have more fulfillment in your life is answer this question, right? What was something that truly filled you up in 2022? And for me to share, you know, an experience that I'll say is one of the things that filled me up in 2022. And this is a theme that I've actually started to see over the last several years, because I ask myself these questions every single year at the end of the year as I go into the next year. I take a few days and I really sit down and allow myself to dive into these things. But one of the things that filled me up in 2022 is going to the mountains with some of my best friends or new friends and snowboarding for a couple of days and just being present in the moment, being in the mountain, being with nature, going through fresh carves, fresh powder on the mountain, right? Going through the park and doing jumps. Like those are the things that filled me up so much in 2022. So now that I know that, as I go into 2023, obviously I'm going to make it part of my life to go do more trips to the mountains with friends and snowboard because I know it's going to fill me up. So what are some of the things that filled you up? Was it that quality time that you spent with your family? Was it that you were pouring into people and helping people become a better version of themselves? Was the thing that fulfilled you, that filled you up, um, maybe getting back into exercise? Was it a relationship that you were in, right? What's something that filled you up in 2022? Really start to ask yourself that question. And then more importantly, ask yourself, how can you start to do that in 2023 as well? All right, now the eighth question, this one being quite a different question, is what did you hate in 2022? What did you hate in 2022? What are some of the things that when you look back at your 2022, you go, oh, that thing just like grinded my gears. Like, man, that thing just pissed me off. Like, what is something that you did that you hated in 2022? And the reason we want to look at this is because once you begin to know some of the things you hated, you can use that bad so that you can move away from it. Right? You got to gain awareness around what are some of the things I hate? You don't need to spend too much time on this question, but ask yourself, what were some of the things you hate? What's a lesson you could pull from that? And how can you use it in 2023 to move forward? All right, that's question eight. Question nine, and these last two questions are going to be really, really focused on 2023, right? A lot of the first eight questions were a little bit more reflection on 2022, a little bit looking at 2023. But these last two questions are going to be questions that 
you're going to want to spend, I would say, even a little bit more time on so that you can really get clear for what you want in 2023. And again, the next few episodes, solo episodes we have this year are going to be really gauged and catered towards building towards 2023. So you can join us on those episodes to get more. But this first question is, if you had a magic wand, what are three things you would like to achieve next year? If you had a magic wand, what are three things that you would like to achieve in 2023? Now, what you want to do here is give yourself something that you'd want to achieve that is a stretch, but still realistic, right? So put something on there that it's going to push you. It's going to require you to grow. It's going to require you to really like step up in your life, but it's also still realistic. It's not something that's so far-fetched that it just doesn't quite make any sense. What's something that's realistic, but a stretch. And you want to get clear on what are three things you'd like to achieve next year. Now it can be for many different areas of your life. It could be for your finance, for your finances and that part of your life. It could be for your relationships. It could be for your family. It could be for your friends. It could be for your career. It could be for your spiritual life, right? It could be for your emotions, but what are three things you'd like to achieve next year? If you have a magic wand and what you want to understand as you start to build out these questions is where focus goes, energy flows, right? A lot of the times you can say, oh, what, what are the three things I'd like to achieve next year? And you go, well, you know what? I really don't want to be in this job that I don't like. I really don't want to be struggling financially. I really don't want, I don't want, I don't, 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 don't. And you focus so much on what you don't want that guess what you get more of in your life? You get more of what you don't want. So I'm not saying focus and, and what are three things you don't want next year? No. What are three things that if you had a magic wand and you could wave it, you would want to achieve next year? And once you get clear on those, what you do want, where energy goes, where focus goes, energy flows. So get clear on what are a few of the things that you would like to achieve next year. This is going to be a perfect sort of base that we can build for our episode next week, our solo one and the one the week after that. But ask yourself. With that magic wand, you're Harry Potter right now, right? You can wave and wish and create anything. What are three things you would like to achieve next year as we go into 2023, all right? And the 10th and the final question, which I told you in the beginning, if you stuck around to this part of the episode, this is going to be the question that really starts to move the needle forward in your life. And the question is this, what is one powerful decision you can make as you enter the new year that would enhance the quality of your life? What is one powerful question you can ask yourself as you enter the new year that can enhance the quality of your life? Understand that our moments of decision shape our destiny. When you make a decision, that is truly when the needle begins to move in your life. Right? A lot of the time you can spend time going, I think I want to do this. I think I want to do that. I, I might want to go this way. But the moment you make a decision, you say, you know what? This is what I am going to do. Everything in your life begins to change. When you make a decision, powerful things in this world happen. So what is one decision right now that you said, if I made this decision going forward in 2023, everything in my life would radically change and make the decision. Make the decision today, not next year, not you know 2023 when it starts, make the decision. I'm saying make the decision right now that is going to shape and change the quality of your life as you go into 2023. And if you make powerful decisions, you will create a powerful life. And one thing I want you to understand as we look at this 10th question is as you make a powerful decision, there are two pieces, two elements that you need to incorporate into this one. They are two words and it's called courage and faith. One being courage, right? You, when you make a powerful decision, you have to have some courage. People that make decisions that don't require courage don't really move the needle forward in their life because they're making decisions that aren't scary, that aren't those decisions that, that make them push themselves. So what's the decision that you know you need to make that would require you to have some courage in order to make it? Because that, my friend, I promise you, is going to be a decision that will move the needle forward in your life. And the second piece of making that decision is the word called faith, right? Believing that when you make this decision, there's going to be something greater on the other side, right? They say you can pick faith or you can pick fear. But the funny part is when you look at these two, faith and fear, they both require you to believe in something that is made up. 
When you believe fear, you go, I have this decision. I maybe need to make it, but man, I'm scared. What if it doesn't work out? What if that fear is you believing in something that is made up? You don't know what's going to happen. So if you're believing in something that's made up, why not believe in the thing that's actually going to help you in your life? You go, I don't know what's going to happen on their side, but you know what? I am going to buy into faith because that is the ingredient that I need to move the needle forward in my life. All right, so I hope you feel my passion coming through with this 10th question, but really get clear and ask yourself, what is one question, excuse me, what is one decision, this is the question that you need to answer, right? But what is one decision that if you made going into next year, it would radically enhance the quality of your life? And my call to you right now, today, as you listen to my words, is make that decision now. Yes, Bring some courage to it. It's going to be scary probably. Yes, bring some faith to it. Believe that when you make this decision, there's something greater on the other side. And when you do those things, you will start to notice that you are going to come into 23 hot, hot, hot. I mean, you're coming into 2023 with some freaking momentum, my friend. Ask yourself, what is the decision? Make the decision and let's freaking rock and roll as we wrap up this year and go into next year. All right, so that, my friend, is the 10 questions that you need to ask yourself as we wrap up 2022 and enter 2023. Go through this episode again. Take a journal out. Really get clear on what were those magic moments? What were those decisions you made? What were the things that went great that didn't great? What were the things that filled you up? Give yourself the gift of asking yourself these 10 powerful questions and you will notice that as you wrap up 2022, you're going to have such a beautiful peace and, and, and clarity as you wrap up this year. And then as you go to those last couple questions, you're going to be even clearer on what is it that you need to do as you step into 2023. I want to say thank you as always, my friend, for joining us on the podcast. It is as an honor, such an honor uh, as always, such an honor to hang out with you every single week. I hope you could feel my passion, my love bleeding through this microphone to you right now. I just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in every single week. This is not something that I take lightly in the smallest way. I, I know it is a privilege to have 10, 20, 30 minutes of your ears every single week. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. I freaking love you. I hope you have an outstanding and unbelievable and incredible rest of your day. And I wanna give you um, one other thing as we wrap up this episode. If you have a friend that you know maybe needs to get a little clearer as they go into next year, maybe needs to shake things up a little bit as they go into life in 2023, go ahead and send them this episode right now. Say, hey, I just listened to this podcast from this guy, Stu. He's got this crazy energy. Um, and I just thought of you. So here, I wanted to send it to you. And just send him the episode. I promise they're going to come back to you and go, thank you for sending me that episode. Right? It's going to make a positive impact on their life. So go send this to a friend right now. I want to say thank you in advance for sharing this if you're open to it. And other than that, again, I hope you have a wonderful, outstanding, incredible, unfreaking believable rest of your day. And I will see you on the podcast soon. If you want to stick around, don't feel like you need to go anywhere. I have another episode coming up right after this. And other than that, I will talk to you soon, my friend. Take care.